What are you doing? Everyone wants me to change? I can change. I'm taking the covers off. I also took the covers off and today I will show you how to sew new ones for the cell-shaped couch. This is the fabric I bought. It's a thick polyester fabric that looks like faux leather. First I will take the measurements of the seat and then I will take the measurements of the backrest. Since the couch is so big I will make several separate covers instead of a big one. Both the seat and the backrest are made of three pieces of fabric which makes a total of six pieces for one of the covers. You need to measure the front piece and one of the sides. This couch cannot be disassembled, the seat cushions can't be removed and that's why I decided to make such type of covers. The left seat is the same size so I just need to sew two covers of the same size. Since I'm making the left half of the couch I will measure the armrest now. For the armrest you need only one piece of fabric. Now I will cut all the fabric pieces for the left half of the couch. To the actual measurements of the couch parts I will add 15 cm extra on each side of each piece for a seam allowance and a hem. Think about how to line up the pieces before cutting them so you don't waste a lot of fabric. You may be curious to know how much fabric I need for the couch. Since the width of the fabric row is 1.40 meters, which is close to what I need for the couch, I measured the width of the seats, then I added the width of the backrest on both halves of the couch. That gave me almost 11 meters of fabric. I added two additional meters because I wanted to make two covers for the stool, so in the end I bought a total of 13 meters of fabric. After you cut all of the pieces, you can lay them over the couch just so you can double check everything. In my case, one cover is made from two halves, each containing three fabric pieces. So for the left half of the couch, I need to have 13 pieces in total. Now I will show you how to prepare the fabric for sewing. First, take the side pieces for the seat and push them between the seats as shown in the video. Make sure the pieces are as straight as possible. Push all the wrinkles between the seats and leave only 3 to 4 cm of both pieces sticking out. The right side of the fabric must be facing down. Since the seat is symmetrical, we can pin the fabric with the wrong side facing us, then sew it and the cover will fit perfectly. Now you can place the big fabric piece in the middle. Align it so it stays in the center of the seat and remove all wrinkles. Make sure to leave some fabric close to the backrest to sew both parts of the cover later. Now you can pinch the ends of both pieces and start pinning them together. Make sure to hold the side piece straight and pin the big piece to it. You must place the pins exactly over the seam line. The seam line is the corner of the seat or where the original seam is. You need to pull both fabric pieces gently before inserting the pin. When you reach the curved part, remember to hold the side piece as straight as possible. Take scissors and make a relief cut on the top piece. This will help you to align it and pin both sides together. If one relief cut is not enough, you are free to make as many as you want. Just make sure they are not too deep into the fabric. Then continue placing pins until you reach the end of the curved part. 
It may look difficult, but it's not. I enjoyed the process of making the covers very much. You have to pin the other side the same way. Now you sewing choke and draw a line right over the pins. This line must be exactly over the original seam and it will help you when sewing the pieces together. Now draw a line on top of the pins on the right side of the seat. Now let's make the backrest. I will attach the pieces the same way as for the seat. First put both small fabric pieces on the sides. Make sure they are as straight as possible and there are no wrinkles on the fabric. Also make sure to leave some excess fabric on the bottom so you have enough to make a hem. You can remove the seat cover or pull it slightly so you can work with the backrest piece. Place the center piece, align it and remove all wrinkles. Now start pinning the side pieces to the center piece the same way as for the seat. Don't forget to keep the side pieces as straight as possible and pin the big center piece to them. The pins must be placed exactly on the seam line. When you reach the curved part on top, make a relief cut on the big fabric piece and continue pinning. After you pin both sides to the center piece, use the sewing choke and draw a line on each side on top of the pins. Now remove both pieces of the cover very carefully. After you take off both pieces, you need to make seams over the choke lines. Now I will show you how to make the seams on a small piece of fabric because it would be hard to demonstrate using the actual covers. All the seams are made on the wrong side of the fabric so the right sides of all pieces are facing inside. After you align the pieces you have to insert the pins just as I was showing you a few seconds ago. Next I drew a line with the sewing choke and now comes the sewing part. I'm using the teflon presser foot and the stitch length is set to 3. You just need to make a straight seam. Remove the pins as you go. After you make this seam, unfold the piece as shown in the video. Set the stitch length to 5 and sew two straight seams on each side of the first one. These seams are decorative so it is best to use a thicker thread for them. If you don't have a thicker thread you can thread the machine using two threads. This is what the seam will look like. The last step will be to finish the edges. I will cut the excess fabric using pinking shears, but if the fabric tends to fry, you may use an overlock or a zigzag stitch. To make the hem, I will simply fold the fabric once, then I will place pins to hold it in place. I will use a magnetic seam guide to ensure my seams are straight. For the hems I will use the thicker thread and the stitch length will be set to 5. 
I will insert an elastic band in some of the hems so make sure to check the width of the elastic band before sewing the hems. After sewing the hem finish the edges the same way as before. I keep the pile with the leftover strips of fabric and I will use them for another project. In the end it will look like this. When you're sewing the hems make sure to sew several times over the places that would be under stress when putting the cover on and off. I will even make one short seam close to the edge of the fabric. If you skip this step your seam may break easily. Now you should pin both halves of the cover. I finished sewing the seams and I will put the pieces back on the couch. I am placing the pins 2 cm away from the corner between the seat and the backrest. If you are working with leather or vinyl the pins will leave holes so it's best to use wonder clips. When pinning the pieces together make sure both side seams are perfectly aligned. Now carefully remove the cover, go to your sewing machine and sew the pieces together. It's time to make the hem. Place the cover back on the seat and start by folding the excess fabric on the front part. Make sure the piece is straight and the hem is the right length. After you place the pins on the front part you can start folding the fabric and pinning the sides. Place one two pins on the corners then you will place the rest of the pins after you remove the piece from the couch. This will make it very easy to insert the rest of the pins. You need to place pins all around the cover. After you place all the pins you can go to your sewing machine. Sew all around the piece but leave the front part for last. When you reach the front hem sew the end of an elastic band to one of the sides of the cover. I haven't removed the pins that hold the hem but I have threaded the elastic band into a needle and I will insert it in the hem. Now start sewing the front hem but be careful not to sew over the elastic band. Hold the end of the elastic band while sewing and pull it from time to time. When you are halfway through the seam pin the end of the elastic band to the end of the hem. Stretch the fabric gently and continue sewing until you finish the hem. Then turn the cover and make a short seam over the end of the elastic band. That's my way of sewing the elastic band. You need to make the second cover for the left seat the same way because they are both the same size. Now let's make the cover for the armrest. First fold the fabric in half and lay it over the armrest. Align the center of the folded piece with the center of the armrest then pull the fabric so there is enough for making a hem on all sides. As you already know I love to eyeball everything and that's why I cut slightly bigger pieces of the fabric. Now use sewing choke and mark the corner of the armrest.
Lay the folded piece on the floor and make two straight lines as shown in the video. I forgot to take my ruler and that's why I'm using the scissors. After you draw the lines you need to cut out this rectangle. This will make beautiful corners for the armrest. You can see what it will look like. At first I will sew the corners. Then I will fold the excess fabric on the sides and I will sew the hem. Now you can see how I'm pinning the sides to make the corners. You have to make the seams on the wrong side so they are invisible. Now I'm sewing the corners. You only need to make a simple straight seam. Use the edge of the presser foot as a guide. Did I mention that the video will be long? If you are not sewing covers with me, I hope you are enjoying a big bowl of popcorn while watching it. After you sew the corners together, place the cover on the armrest just as it has to look at the end. Now start folding the excess fabric towards the wrong side as shown in the video. After you fold the excess fabric, place pins to keep it in place. Fold the side facing the seat as shown in the video and place some pins in the middle. I will insert an elastic band all over the piece except this side so I will sew its hem last. As you can see I am removing the pin from this side to make the hem all around the piece first. After you sew all around the three sides of the cover, you need to insert the elastic band using a safety pin. You may pin the end of the elastic band close to the opening because it would be shorter than the length of the hem casing or you can sew it to the end right now. I have threaded the elastic band and now I will make two short seams over both ends. Now I will use the magnetic seam guide and I will sew the hem on the last side. You will have some pins in the middle of the piece so when you stretch the fabric you will be able to see where the seam must be. Now the piece should look like this. At this point you can use the pinging shears to cut the excess fabric or finish the edges the same way as on the other covers. Now I'm measuring the chaise part. I will make one big cover for this half of the couch so I need to measure all of the sides. For the backrest we need 4 fabric pieces and to make the seat part we need 3 pieces of fabric. I will lay all the pieces in a minute but I will leave the measuring part in case you want to see it. 
As for the other half of the couch, I will add 15 cm more to each side of each piece. At first I will lay the biggest piece and I will cut the excess fabric so it lays flat on the seat. If you make covers by following this tutorial I will be happy to see a photo of them. You can post it on my Facebook page or send it via email. As you can see here, I forgot to place the small side piece for the seat, but you will see how I will pin it to the big piece a bit later. Let's start by pinning the pieces for the seat. As you can see, both pieces are placed with the right side facing each other. I will start placing pins close to the backrest and I will go towards the curved part on the front of the seat. You need to place the pins right over the seam line. Now place the smaller side piece on the other side with the right side facing down and start placing pins on top of the seam line only on the straight part of the seat. Now turn the cover and place it the other way around. The wrong side is facing up. The longer fabric piece must be over the short side of the seat and the shorter fabric piece must be over the long side of the seat. This will help you to pin the sides very easily just as you pin the pieces for the other covers. Don't forget to hold the side pieces straight and pin the top piece to them. Then mark the seam line with chalk and sew both pieces together. To pin the pieces for the backrest, take the bigger piece and put it over the smaller side of the couch as shown in the video. Then put the side piece the same way as for the covers. The wrong side of the pieces must be towards you. Place pins along the seam line, draw a line using chalk and carefully remove the cover. It should look like this. When you turn it inside out, it must be the perfect fit for the longer side of the backrest. To make the other side of the backrest, you need to put the smaller fabric piece over the larger side of the backrest. Then pin the side piece the same way. This would be the other half of the backrest cover. Sew along the choke line and put one of the pieces on the backrest. Make sure there are no wrinkles on the piece. Start from the bottom and draw a line right to the corner. You can't lay the piece flat, so you need to readjust it constantly as you go. You need to stretch the fabric well so the seam would look perfect. If there are any wrinkles, the seam will not be straight or centered.
Now place the second half of the cover on the backrest. Remove all wrinkles and repeat the same process. Don't forget to support me by liking the video. Now lay one of the pieces flat and cut it along the chalk line. Lay down the second piece and cut it along the chalk line. If you have marked the line correctly, you will have to cut exactly the same piece now. You may check that by placing the cut piece on top of the second piece. Now remove the excess fabric pieces. Lay both pieces for the backrest facing each other and align the sides we just cut. Pin both pieces together and sew them. Now place the sewn piece over the backrest, then place the seat part over the seat. Use chalk and draw a line over the corner of the seat piece. Now remove the seat piece and make the same line on the backrest piece. Align the center seam with the marked corner on the seat piece. Then follow the chalk lines and place pins over them. Sew the pinned pieces together and place the cover back on the couch. Start folding the fabric to make the hem from the curved part on the front then go around the sides. I will thread an elastic band in the hem of all sides of this cover. I will use one long piece of elastic band for the seat part. Then I will use three separate pieces of elastic band for the backrest part, one piece in the hem of each side and a big one on top along the backrest. The last step will be to sew the right side of the backrest to the side of the seat. You need to pin both sides together as shown in the video. And this is what the couch looks like. I only need to make the pillowcases with the leftover fabric. I hope you have enjoyed this tutorial. Have a nice day and see you in my next video.